So you wanna help somebody in a depression but you don't know what to say, this video is for you. Welcome to the mental health vlog. Today we're gonna give you some advice on what to tell somebody who's in a depression and how to help and things you might wanna avoid. Avoid giving advice. While it might be true this depressed person or maybe yourself needs some help, but saying so can make things worse. Sean, you're an idiot and I need an analogy about quicksand to make this make sense. So we got this quicksand. Say the quicksand is the depression and the army dude is in it. The army dude is in the depression. Also, keep in mind, everything I learned about quicksand is regurgitated from what I've learned in cartoons. I'm not a quicksand expert. Depression sort of feels like quicksand inadequacy. The key word here is inadequate. Depression makes you feel inadequate. And if Bugs Bunny taught me anything about quicksand, it's the more you move, the faster you sink. Now, the very act of trying to get out of quicksand takes movement. You're reaching your ground for stuff, and the more you move, you start sinking. Now, let's say you're in the quicksand. You're the army guy, and you see a branch, and you reach for the branch to try and get out, but it's just out of reach. So you just did all this effort and movement, and you sank a little bit more. You're a little farther away from the branch. But you're like, man, that was so close, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna risk it. So you reach for the branch again and you fall a little deeper, you just miss it. Now that's how depression works. You reach and you're trying to move and the more you move, the more inadequate you feel because it's just not working. What you're doing isn't paying off yet. Now say a friend walks by and goes, oh my God, Sean, quicksand. You know, if you had a rope, that would have helped you out a bunch. You probably wouldn't end up in the quicksand. You know, my mom once fell into the quicksand, but she had that rope and so she was able to throw it out and pull herself out and it was no problem. You should have had a rope. Rope would have helped you out here. To a depressed person, we think, great, now I'm an idiot because I didn't have the rope. Or, well, if I would have had a rope, maybe I would have used it. Can you kind of start feeling this tension? Now, what if instead the friend goes, oh my God, Sean, you're in the quicksand. What can I do to help you? I want to help. What can I do? Tell me what to do. Now, the person in the depression is more likely to say, do you have a rope? Do you have a ladder? Can you reach my hand? Can you bend that branch over so I can grab it? And we start giving you ideas and we're elevating ourselves out of this inadequacy feeling. We're taking control of it. Feels different. Now, I've been on both sides of this. I've had someone tell me, Sean, you seem very depressed. You need to get on medication. God, I'm not able to handle this depression. <sighs> I thought I was hiding it, and I wasn't. This, and it was just pushing me down. I was sinking, sinking deeper and lower into this, the quicksand. Now granted, that was good advice. I probably needed it. But I had another friend once say, Sean, I want to help you. What, what can I do? And at the time, I just wanted someone to listen and talk to me. And the more we talked, we came up with, sol with ideas, which led me to see a therapist, which led me to get on med medication, which led me to getting into a program and lifting me out of the quicksand. Now, if you're watching this, either you have a mental health disorder or you wanna help somebody who has a mental health disorder. And I know what it feels like to wanna fix the problem. Instead of sharing advice, just be supportive. Because when a person asks to be pulled from the quicksand, they ask for a tool to be pulled from the quicksand, they're more likely to use those tools and actually get out of that quicksand. I'm not a doctor or therapist, I'm just somebody who's been in the depression field for years and read a lot of books about how to help myself. I've learned a lot of tricks over the years, so that's what these vlogs are for. If there's something you think I should talk about or discuss or you know a resource that would help other people, let me know and I'll be happy to share it here. That's what I want these to be and continue to grow to. With that being said, life is meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. The best and easiest way to help with your mental health situation is to talk about it. So that's what we're doing here. That's what this vlog's all about, is talking about it. 